Hey, I'm Ted Naylor, and I am kite surfing. So my daily routine is is pretty simple. I wake up every day around around six or six thirty, six thirty on a on a weekend. Um, I go to a museum or maybe an art gallery in the morning, as there's no wind, and uh, a little bit of yoga to to get me up, just for for a treat sometimes. And then uh, then the wind is normally normally in by then. I make sure that I'm down the beach before the wind comes in so I can uh, get all set up because there's nothing worse than being the last one there and you've got to make the most of all the wind in the day and then uh, I basically just, just ride really just ride all day I, the, I get the energy off the, off the wind as it comes through it gives me a lot of power and uh, it's almost an addiction but it's a good addiction and then, uh, then I ride until uh, till it gets dark. Then uh, maybe uh, some smoked fish for dinner or something. And then uh, off to bed by about 9:30, so that I'm nice and early uh, to wake up in the morning. It's my life. It's a pretty pretty epic day today. Um, we're in Australia, in Perth. This is a, a small spot called uh, Safety Bay. It's a pretty secret spot. Not many people know about it. I I come here to train in the in the winter normally. It's, um, yeah, it's a it's a nice spot. The wind maybe between 31 and 30. Two knots somewhere around there, so I go on my um, my North Vegas, my seven square meter kite. So uh, get ready to go now. Okay. I ride on the, the Mutant style board. I like this one because it's yellow. That's why I ride the C variety. It's just because it looks better. You can't mess around with safety. It's really important. I always make sure that I stay nice and warm on the water. So So a lot of my friends back home are confused with my way of life. So those guys they're happy, they have the the kids, they have a mortgage, but that's not for me. They say they say, Ted, what's what are you doing with your life? But they just don't understand. The, the way it makes me feel, the power, oh, it's insane. I can't get enough of it. So, it's pretty good. The wind's nice, the kite's all set up. The wind's, yeah, about what I forecast. The community stayed the same, so the, the wind's kind of stayed the same. Um, so there's a few of my friends out here, so I'm going to go and kite with them, but um, yeah, let's do it, check it out. So a lot of people ask me how I can how I can live this amazing lifestyle that a lot of people are jealous of. The way I see it, money is, a, is an energy, and I've got a lot of positive energy at the moment, so it flows through me, so I'm able, money comes to me, and also... Um, I had a rather big inheritance, which which helps quite a bit. But the the main thing is the the energy. So I'm out there. I'm cruising along. I've got 14 knots in my sail. I'm coasting along at at oh, an amazing speed, just getting the most out of it. And then it just hits me. I just go to this this other place. This up into a like an astral plane where everything's just beautiful everything comes together what what's once was was blurry is now clear you can see my soul riding next to me short tacking me up it's beautiful
somebody comes up to me and they're, they're wanting to learn kite surfing or maybe they're just getting into the sport I've got a small poem or like, like a saying that, um, that I tell them and it just helps to, to make things a bit clearer I am the wind I am the waves I am the sky I am the trees but if you tell me about looking I've got a kite knife and I'm not afraid to use it <laughs> that went a bit, a bit aggressive for us. <laughs> it just takes me up to a whole new astro plane where I'm just... <laughs> I don't know, what is it? Why did we do it? For the chicks and the money. And the respect. Yeah. <laughs>